Adams here today and I wanted to just uh, pop in and say hi so you could see my face and not just my voice and just wanted to share a project using some of the prints that I made in the previous video using the 8 inch round gel press plate, some Distress Oxide inks, pads, and some really cool embossing folders. So I have a really unique canvas that I made. I love making canvases. It's one of the, my favorite things to make. And I was wanted to come up with a way to use the round plate and use round prints. And I came up with this really unique canvas where I use like lots and lots of texture pastes. And these are the two gel press prints that I made in the previous video. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch it before we go on. But, um, uh, so let's just get to business. So the first thing we are going to do is grab our prints that we made and we're going to spray them with some Krylon spray fixative so that the, um, the inks don't run because we know that distress inks are not permanent. So I've cut them out. I've cut the two prints that I've decided to use for the canvas out and I'm positioning them onto my 12 by 12 canvas and I'm going to use some gel uh, matte medium to adhere them to the canvas in the place where I want them to go. And I want to make sure that I get all the edges down and I'm leaving a little bit of the edge off of the canvas and that will become, there's a reason for that. Now you can see just a tiny bit of yellow coming off of that when I am um, smoothing it out with my key card, but it's just a little bit of excess. It's not messing up the pattern. It's fine. So I'm just cleaning up the edges a little bit with the baby wipe, and I'm going to let the canvas completely dry before I move on to my next step. So now I'm going to use the 8 inch and the 6 inch round gel press plate as masks. I'm going to put them, I'm going to place them over the areas of the print that I just adhered down to the canvas, the parts that I want to keep visible. And there it's going to be a great mask for what I'm going to do because they they're sticky and they'll stay in place and they're they're thick enough that it's going to allow me to um, add texture paste around them. So here I am just adding a whole bunch of texture paste. I ran out of the spackle uh, and I went for my light molding paste and I'm going to finish that up. I want it really thick. I want it, I want it be really be able to um, see the thickness on the edge of the canvas. So I'm just going to continue to clean up the edges. The texture paste, it takes a little while to dry, so I'm not really worried in this process that I'm going to damage my plates. As I'm adding the molding pastes, um, picking up the canvas, I'm turning it around, I'm moving it, and those, the gel press plates are just sticking right where I want them to be. It's making this process very easy. Um, I'm going to be adding a little bit of bead gel to the top now just to add another level of texture. We're going to take the plates off right now. And we're going to get those in water right away. Okay, put them directly in water right away. I have a bucket right next to me. Put them in water. 
Okay, so next I want to add a little bit of a pattern to my texture paste and I'm adding a little bit of water to my embossing folders that I use to make my gel prints and I'm going to impress them into my paste. Now I did wait a couple of minutes until it was just slightly dry on the top of the surface of the texture pastes, just so that I could get a good indentation. Uh, the water helps it to not, uh, the texture paste not to stick, and I got a pretty good result. I let the whole canvas dry overnight until all of that texture paste was, was dry, and then I decided I would add some quick drying crackle paste and I let that dry. It was about an hour before I could start painting and I made a solution of um, acrylic glazing medium and Payne's Gray and some black fluid acrylic paint. About 50% glazing medium and 50% paint and I mixed that up and I, pa I painted it onto the canvas and I was a little messy. I got some onto my prints and that's okay because the glazing medium stays wet for a while and it was very easy to wipe off. My goal here was that I wanted to get that dark glaze into the cracks and crevices of that texture paste. Once the glaze is on there for a couple of minutes, I grabbed some baby wipes and I started to wipe off the excess and I grabbed some a clean baby wipe often um, because I wanted to really get a lot of that excess off. I also did a couple more glazes. I used Nicola Azo Gold and I also used some Van Dyke Brown and I did a couple more glazes over the top. They're transparent layers and it just adds a lot of depth. Now I'm adding just some touches of gold paint, just straight gold paint onto the surface and it's really bringing out a lot of those little nooks and crannies. I put a layer of crackle paste onto the gel press circles. I wanted it to look like tiles, like old tiles that had been dug up from um, you know the earth and um, that was going to achieve that look. And once it dried, I glazed with a brown glaze and it brought out all those cracks. Here are some detail shots and um, some final shots of this project. If you like what you saw here today, please um, leave me some comments and tell me what you think. Thank you so much for watching.